Before we started this project, research in neuroscience was typically um, at an individual experiment level. You collect the data from, for instance, V4 or IT, and then you test one V4 model and one IT model, and those are usually separate. So what we're trying here is to start an integrative approach that really combines experiments at multiple levels and puts more and more constraints on the models to be more and more brain-like. For this first set of benchmarks, we collected two neural benchmarks and one behavioral benchmark. The two neural benchmarks were high-quality UTA error recordings from V4 and IT, sort of high-level uh, areas in visual processing. And the behavioral benchmark uh, was from humans doing a matched sample task. The set of these benchmarks uh, is together is what we call brain score. On the model side, we also collected daily used models in machine learning. So th these were ranging from early AlexNet all the way to the latest and greatest ResNets or PNESNets at the time. And then we evaluated those models on how well they could predict the neural activity uh, in V4 and IT, and on how well they could capture human behavior on a, on a fine grained image level. So when we uh, benchmarked all of these models on BrainScore, we found that there is a very robust global correlation, such that models that are performing better on ImageNet are also uh, more predictive of brain responses. However, the state-of-the-art model on ImageNet is not the best model for predicting brain responses. So it seems like if you're only optimizing for ImageNet, that strategy may not be sufficient anymore to get the best uh, models of brain. So when you look at the best uh, brain score models, they are doing their job. They're predicting neural and behavioral responses as we want it. However, they have many layers. And that is quite at odds how we tend to think about visual system where there is just a handful of visual areas. The mapping becomes pretty tricky between the models and visual system. And there's another problem. All of these models are feed forward. While the visual system is quite recurrent and recurrence plays an important role in how we recognize objects. So we decided to develop a model that would be shallow and recurrent and that recurrence would be compensating for the lack of depth in the model. Now, testing Cornet on the ImageNet benchmark, we found that it is actually very competitive compared to other models, especially considering uh, its shallowness. And we also saw that it's actually doing really well on BrainScore, which was our target goal. Now, on top of that, we thought, well, this is a recurrent model. So how about we try to predict neural responses over time, which is not what these feed-forward models could do. Happily enough, we found a very good correlation between these measures. In addition to that, we also tested how well could this model transfer to another data set. And we found that it really outperformed comparable shallow models. Now going forward, we're trying to expand our set of integrative benchmarks even more. So we're uh, going to put in V1, V2 processing, more behaviors, and so forth. And our plan is to test Cornet on all of them, among with the other models. In addition, we're opening up the BrainScore platform uh, for new submissions. So if you think you have the best model of visual processing in the brain, please send it our way.